Remember the Chinese woman arrested at the President's Resort in Palm Beach, Florida last week? Remember she had four cell phones and, oh, by the way, a thumb drive with malware all in it? She's back in court today for a bail hearing, a decision now pushed to next Monday, so a week from today. So she'll stay in the Huskow until at least the 15th. And we're learning she apparently had much more than the four phones and the malware and all the rest back in the hotel room. Phil Keating's reporting. He's outside the courthouse in Palm Beach County. Hey, Phil, what else did they find? Well, items that could be interpreted as totally innocent or highly suspicious. As you mentioned, the bond hearing just was pushed until next Monday, so still no resolution whether Eugene Zhang bonds out or at least gets bond or whether the judge is going to deny bail altogether. Uh, she, of course, is the one who lied her way into Mar-a-Lago uh, two weekends ago when the president was in town. However, he was at the golf club at the time, so he was never on property during this whole episode. Uh, as part of the prosecution team's argument that the bond should be denied by this judge. They offered up some additional things they found. They say when they went to Zhang's hotel room, they say they found $8,000 in cash, several credit cards, a signal detector radio frequency device, which is said to be able to detect whether a hidden camera is in the room, nine USB drives, five SIM cards, and a fifth cell phone. You know, when the Secret Service arrested Zhang at Mar-a-Lago, she was carrying those four cell phones and that laptop and that thumb drive that was uh, malicious software. She is charged with making false statements to a federal officer as well as entering a restricted property and could, if convicted, get five years in prison. Chef. Hey, did, did the attorneys or the judge get into whether this woman was actually a Chinese spy or are we just supposed to look at all this stuff and go... <laughs> They briefly touched on that. That was when the defense team was uh, grilling the Secret Service agent on the sand, saying all of these things you found on her, did that make you think espionage? Prosecutors quickly objected, saying that's not what this hearing is all about. Uh, security experts, I spoke with a FBI former counterintelligence expert. He believes this woman definitely is a spy. The fact that the woman was in that location at that time is absolutely no accident at all. Uh, it's no doubt in my mind that it's some sort of an intelligence operation and potentially an operation that may have been sanctioned by either the Chinese government or an intelligence service. So Zhang will continue to be held without any bond in federal custody. We believe she was just escorted off the property in a white van to wherever the feds are holding her. She will be back here next Monday, not only for the finalization of this bond hearing, but also her arraignment when the judge will determine whether this does go to trial.